Hey everyone, welcome back to JLEG 3D. So I had a video up, a short rather, of how to make a pyramid. And uh, there was a user who asked, hey, can you slow down and explain better? So I'm gonna make this a long form tutorial. I'm gonna show you multiple ways of how to make a pyramid. So obviously we need to start off with a square. It's centered, uh, the choices above. Uh, let's go ahead and simply extrude that. See the triangle itself, or rather the rectangle, 10 by 10, right? So we extrude this by five. And this is the absolute simplest way to do it is if you select this face and click the chamfer tool, it selects all the edges for you and you can go ahead and just go down by five. And there you go, pyramid on the easy, right? Or you could select obviously manually these edges and go down by five. So that's the absolute easiest way. However, that does only 45 degrees and imagine if you want a larger one. So what would you do? Well, you go to this face and you sketch lines across. And once you have that, select opposing triangles, because if you select connected ones, it's gonna union them. So you select those opposing triangles and you raise them up by let's say 10, because you couldn't do 10 before, right? Because this, this is more than 45 degrees. And you select these edges right here and you select the move tool, you go down by 10, all right? Then go ahead and double click to select both of them. Make sure you're in the center axis. It usually does it automatically if you select two items. Make sure you click that copy function and rotate it by 90 degrees. Then go to tools, union, and click and drag to select that, click done. And now you have your extra tall triangle. So that's one way. Another cool thing is kind of the one that I showed in the video is if you take these two, exit sketching it automatically selects the move tool. You move these up, let's say by 10. And then you extrude this, let's say by three in this case you can go ahead and tools project these two lines onto this edge. Make sure it's in edges instead of sketches. Click done. And now if you select these edges over here and use the move tool, you can go down and you can also make custom triangles or rather pyramids. All right, and then the, another cool thing you can do with this situation is if you, for example, select this face, you can edit it and if you go below it connects it right but if you edit it or if you go let's say uh down you can't go up unless you do tools extrude click done but you can also reach that same menu by going to more or rather it's extrude over here and you can do that same thing so the reason you use the extrude is because if you use the regular just swipe up it kind of stops there and becomes one piece with the other one and you can't really do anything about that until you go way beyond. So not in all cases even. Sometimes it just stops and doesn't go further. So just keep that in mind. There are limitations to that specific thing, but you can do custom shapes. Another way to uh, make sharp edges, let's, let's delete these to get out of the way, is if we have this square here, uh, this square, we extrude it, let's say by 10, and we transform and scale this top face let's say by 0 0.95, 0 0.95, which is 95%, click done. If we delete this face, it makes a really sharp point. So this is like a super tall one. Uh, but we can also, if we scale this slightly less, we can obviously finish off the point in this way. So there are multiple ways of doing that. Another thing you could do is if you just chamfer this edge, you can also delete this point to make it sharp. Same thing with all the rest so it's kind of just pieces of a piece right so you can do that to multiple objects there see basically any edge you do kind of goes there unless it's flat so see that one didn't let us do it because it's not flat not uh going anywhere except one direction then in that case you would just need to extrude it out so that's fyi all right and then there are obviously times where you have lofted edges. So transform, move, rotate. Let's copy this up by let's say 10. And then let's sketch on that face to make a, uh, let's do a spline here. And let's make that our center point. And then tools and loft. So from this point to this point, as you can see, it's not a sharp point anymore. Let's delete that because it's out of the way to get it out of the way and I forgot to double click it there we go all right so obviously you can't just delete this face right so 
in most cases you would need to either extrude it for it to go out like that and there are limitations to that because shaper is not the best for organic shapes as i have mentioned before but if you go to tools and split body and you use uh this one to split it you can now for example transform and move this line let's say we go over there you can rotate it to make it sharper or you can move it all together or in some cases you might be able to transform translate let's say this edge from this point to this point to move it like that so it still stays behind there <clears throat> and then what you would need to do is tools subtract from this body this body to get rid of that excess that came over to this side and then you would simply obviously transform mirror this to this to get that sharper point so there are a myriad of ways to do the same process in different ways and i hope this gives you an opportunity to have success in your project so let me know if you have any questions i'll try to help out hope you liked it don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one here at J Lake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.